Clinical Utility of ESGE and ASGE Guidelines for Prediction of Suspected Cholecystolithiasis in Patients Undergoing Cholecystectomy. Introduction. Although the majority of gallstones remain asymptomatic, 10% to 25% of them develop complications, which include biliary pain, cholecystitis, obstructive jaundice, and pancreatitis. These complications develop mostly due to migration of gallstones into the common bile duct, CBD. Cholecystolithiasis is commonly managed by endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography, ERCP, or surgically during cholecystectomy. ERCP has been the standard of care for confirmed cholecystolithiasis. However, it carries a significant risk, 6% to 15%, of major adverse events, which include post-ERCP pancreatitis, bleeding, and perforation. Recently, the European Society of Gastrointestinal Endoscopy, ESGE, and American Society for Gastrointestinal Endoscopy, ASGE, published guidelines for the management of cholecystolithiasis. Both guidelines updated the diagnostic strategies for patients with suspected cholecystolithiasis in order to minimize the use of diagnostic ERCP. The ESGE guideline stratifies patients with suspected cholecystolithiasis into a high likelihood group if there are features of cholangitis or CBD stones identified during ultrasound. Patients are stratified as intermediate likelihood if they have abnormal liver function tests, LFTs, and or CBD dilation on ultrasound, and low likelihood if LFTs and ultrasound are normal. The ASGE high likelihood criteria for cholecystolithiasis include cholangitis, CBD stone on imaging, and a combination of total bilirubin greater than 4 mg per deciliter, and CBD dilation on ultrasound. Intermediate likelihood criteria include abnormal LFTs, age greater than 55 years, and CBD dilation. Both guidelines recommend that patients with any high-risk criteria should proceed to preoperative ERCP or direct cholecystectomy with CBD exploration, depending on available expertise, and those with intermediate risk criteria should undergo either endoscopic ultrasound, EUS, magnetic resonance cholangiopancreatography, MRCP, or intraoperative cholangiogram, IOC. Patients categorized as having a low likelihood of cholecystolithiasis should undergo cholecystectomy if indicated for symptomatic cholelithiasis. In this study, we aim to evaluate and validate the clinical utility of these new diagnostic strategies for cholecystolithiasis. Background. Recent guidelines from ESGE and ASGE recommend risk stratification according to LFT and abdominal ultrasound in patients with suspected cholecystolithiasis. We evaluated and validated the clinical utility of these new risk stratification criteria for cholecystolithiasis. Methods. JAGTAP et al. retrospectively analyzed prospectively maintained data of patients with suspected cholecystolithiasis between January 2016 and December 2018 in patients undergoing cholecystectomy. Patients with common bile duct stricture, cirrhosis, and portal biliopathy were excluded. After LFT and ultrasound, all patients were stratified according to ESGE and ASGE criteria into high, intermediate, and low likelihood of cholecystolithiasis. Results. 1,042 patients were analyzed. Using ESGE guidelines, 213 patients, 20.4%, met high likelihood criteria. 637, 61.1%, met intermediate, and 192, 18.4%, met low likelihood criteria. Using ASGE guidelines, 230, 22.1%, 678, 65.1%, and 134, 12.9%, met high, intermediate, and low likelihood criteria, respectively. Specificity and positive predictive value, PPV, of ASGE high likelihood criteria were 96.87%, 95% confidence interval, CI, 95.37 to 97.98, and 89.57%, 95% CI, 85.20 to 92.75 for cholecystolithiasis compared with 98.96%, 95% CI, 97.95 to 99.55, and 96.24%, 95% CI, 92.76 to 98.09, respectively, for ESGE criteria.
ASGE classified 17, 7.4% additional patients as high likelihood compared with ESGE, only one of whom had cholecholithiasis. ASGE classified 58, 8.6% additional patients as intermediate, none of whom had cholecholithiasis. Conclusion This study validates the clinical utility of new ESGE and ASGE criteria for predicting cholecholithiasis. ESGE risk stratification appears more specific than ASGE.